Okay, we're going to look at question 6.1, the last trigonometry question of the paper 2, November 2020 exam. And let's just get started. The first one is we call it Pythagorean trig because we've got to use Pythagoras in this question. They give us this diagram. They just give us the point minus 5 and 12. 5 to the left and 12 up. <laughs> There's this point T on the positive axis. And here we go. Um, P-O-T, this big angle here is called theta. Well, you always, with one of these questions, you make a triangle. I do it right away. I do the diagram. They've already set it up. I go down 12. I know that I go 5 to the left. I make I call that negative 5 so that I don't make any mistakes. And then right while I'm at it, I know this is a trigonometry question. I'm going to go this squared plus this squared and take the square root to get this sign. I could write 13 by Pythagoras. There's the work shown, the square root of the two sides squared together. Well, that's most of your work done. Now doing the next part, the tangent of theta you could have got. This is rise over run. It's just 12 over minus 5. You could have got that right off the bat without using any diagram. But the next question, and that, in fact, that's why I only call it one mark, why they only give one mark for it. The next question, and they ask for the cosine of theta, and it's adjacent over hypotenuse, minus 5 over 13. Um, tangent theta is opposite over adjacent. That's why it's um, minus, that's why it's 12, which is opposite, over minus 5, which makes this negative 12 over 5. Can actually put the negative top or bottom but or in the outside but that outside is a little bit better okay there you go the next question 6.1 oh, 6.1.3 that's what it is it's 6.1.3 and they want us to do something they say there's a point s uh, and it's got coordinates of a and b it's a point in the third quadrant that means it's down here and it's it's t o s it goes to some place down here it's this theta plus 90 degrees so what i like to do is just sketch a, a little picture of it so that i can see it and that's what i did down here i sketched a picture i went out 6.5 there's o s there it ends in a b i go down b and i go across a and they're only interested in b well they say calculate the value of b well it looks to me like b over 6.5 is the sine of the angle theta plus 90 degrees well that's kind of interesting so that's what i start with the sine of theta plus 90 degrees theta plus 90 degrees is equal to b plus um b over 6.5 opposite over hypotenuse well, there's your first step, and that's the main main thing. You're off to the races because the sine of theta plus 90 is really equal to the uh, negative cosine of theta. It's a negative number, cosine of theta. And, hey, we already know that. We know that cosine theta is minus. Uh, so we saw we multiply by 6.5. The sine of theta plus 90 is this negative number, and we knew it was negative, negative 5 over uh, 13. The cosine of theta we've done already is negative 5 over 13. Well, if we multiply it out, 6.5 divided by 13 is a half. A half of negative 5, that's your answer. Okay, so the main thing is just doing the sine of theta plus 90 and then realizing, oh, yeah, that's the same. That's called a cofunction rule. We know that this has got to be a negative uh, answer, but it's... Um, negative 5 over 13. That's what we can, we can use that from the question before. Boy, a lot of questions do that. They use a question. They set it up so that they use the question from before to help answer the question later. Okay. Well, that's 6.1 done. 